So uh, last December I was at a, at a soil health workshop and they were talking about um, some of the new science of testing soil and looking at more than just the chemical components, actually testing the biology, specifically the Haney test and the PLFA. And so we, the, the respiration, so basically measuring the CO2 that is put off by the biology in the soil and it's able to quantify not only the chemical components, but actually the physical life in the soil. And so we, you know, the, the person giving the presentation was, was expanding about, well, hey, you know, this is a really good score. And I don't remember the numbers, but you know, it was like, okay, this person's doing no-till, they're like top notch, they got really good soil, you know, approaching double digit um, soil organic matter. So they're holding tons and, or thousands of gallons of water. Their infiltration rate is really good. And it's like, yeah, wow, that's good. And then they said, well, there's this, there's this other outlier, this guy in Colorado, who's uh, just like off the charts with his, with his soil health. And like this, you know, this test, which measures respiration is just like a complete outlier. And so me, you know, wanting to know, well, man, what's he doing? I says, well, who is it? And they says, well, it's some biodynamic farmer over there. And I had met Brooke, Brooke had been on my place the year before. And so I knew who it was. And I didn't ask the next question, but the next question was, was, well, what are they doing? And he's like, I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> I can't begin to explain what they're doing. It's like voodoo or something, but it works. And it's, you know, as you learn, as you learn something different, it is, it's new, it's different. Like for me, I shared the experience of connecting with the ground and how it brought tears to my eyes. It's different, it's weird. You feel strange when you're doing it and you're out and you're taking manure and you're mixing it and you're burying it in the ground and you're making these preps, it's different, it's weird. I'm the first to admit it's, it still feels strange to me. But just because we don't understand it doesn't mean that it doesn't work. And so I hope that you can get past that mental block because that's, you know, the biggest compaction is between our two ears when it comes to compaction, right? We, we there's no, Sometimes we can't, we can't, even when we see it, we don't, we can't believe it. We don't want to believe it. It doesn't jive with what we've been taught. And I get it. It's hard to get past that paradigm of it doesn't matter sometimes how it works. Just trust that it works. But back to that soil test, the science is there. It's not just, well, try this and you're going to feel better, you know, and trust that it's going to work. It's like, so for the past, what, four years, Brooke, you've been doing? Six now. Six years. And, and, our CS. and your soil health score, your respiration has been increasing. So the trajectory is good. It's on a upward plane. Yep. Even during the drought of last year, right? Which was a severe, huge that's, drought. That's right. And so it doesn't matter, you know, if we're taking care of the soil the soil is going to respond. And, you know, there is there is a scientific data to be able to back that up also. And I think even the, even the, the biodynamics itself, as you begin to study it, you realize that it's not voodoo, it's not, it's not craziness, it's actually based on science. It's just a science and an art that was lost to, to our generation. Um, and we, you know, there's reasons why it was, and you can get into that of why it you know, why, why isn't it mainstream accepted? Well, because you can't sell these things, right? Who's going to, who's going to profit by, by this? <laughs> We're going to heal soil. We not be, we may not be lining the pockets of pharmaceutical companies, chemical companies, the uh, people who are selling the traditional NPK, right? And truckload big, huge quantities. Um, not that they're bad, but they're doing the best that they know how to do. But yet, the, the 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 little simple things that you can do that get the big reactions, those are that's what that's what I'm all about, right? If you can use ounces and get a good reaction, why would you use tons on the land? And and that's to me is what kind of what biodynamics is all about. Yeah, get past the get past the the weirdness of it. Just give it a try this biodynamics and the knowledge is it's going to speed up that process. It's going to amplify everything that we're doing 
in a way that there's no way we could do physically on our own. And that gives me a lot of hope. And it opened a vision of what can really happen and the healing that can happen. So that really opened my scope of what this can really look like. And um, it's great that we can, you know, have these amazing gardens, but it's even better if we can take this to a large scale um, to ranchers to that are running, you know, thousands heads of cattle and really start to make a difference um, in what's happening in the soil so we can change the nutrition in our country. It can be replicated, right? Scale, again, does not matter. Um, you can do it small, you can do it big, and the results will happen. We're degrading the resource, and so we can, and the people are in the world are getting sick. And so that, that system doesn't work. So let's try something different that does. And maybe you'll be more profitable in the process. Maybe you'll be happier in the process and less stressed and your family might want to come back to the ranch instead of driving them off because it's just a stressful situation. But the work that I'm doing is benefiting us for generations to come. And I trust that the, the intangible results and even the tangible results will follow. You know, as I continue to follow and do what I feel is right with the stewardship that I've been given.